Kristen bringing you moms home. And today I want to talk to you guys about how to overcome your fear of public speaking. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can overcome your fear. Um, I actually have had a lifelong fear of public speaking for, well, for my entire life, even when I was just a little kid. Um, I hated doing speeches. I hated doing projects, oral reports, any of that kind of stuff. I couldn't do it. I mean, every time I would stand up in front of the class, I would literally freeze up. And my voice was quivery. I couldn't barely get the words out. I mean, oftentimes I would even be so, you know, anxiety ridden that I would actually not even go to school because if there was an oral report due that day, I just knew that I physically couldn't do it. So um, as I got older though, I did overcome it. And like I said, I, I just had a lifelong fear of public speaking and just didn't know how to overcome it. And um, so I'm gonna give you a few tips on how I actually did overcome it. And um, let's just jump right in. So um, I actually just taught a class so um, it, was on, it was on Wednesday, I just taught a class for the, my local newspaper, it's called Record Searchlight. Um, it's under 530 Media Project, so if you're interested in seeing any of the class footage or anything like that, it's on Facebook at 530 Media, so, or 530, 530 Media Project, and that's affiliated with the Record Searchlight in Redding, California. Um, so anyways, they asked me to teach a class because I've been blogging for six years and they wanted to, me to teach a class on how to monetize your blog and I know a lot about it so I agreed to teach it and um, it's not actually the first class that I've ever taught. I did teach a class um, a few times about three years ago. Um, it was affiliated with my book that I wrote, Extreme Couponing 101, which is available on Amazon. Um, so basically I taught couponing and money saving classes. So um, anyways, you'll hear my kids in the background because I'm right by the window here watching them play downstairs. So um, I'm upstairs in my bedroom looking out the window and watching them while I do this video. So they're playing on their slip and slide. It's like 108 today. So anyways, I thought I would just go upstairs really quick and do this video because it was a topic that's been on my mind. It definitely something I think that could help someone else that's going through the same thing. Um, you know, because I think that there's a lot of people who have this, who have anxiety or social anxiety or anything like that. And it's really, really hard to get around that when you have some kind of career where you have to do presentations or you're in school where you have to do presentations or you have a business and you have to, you know, represent your business. Um, these are all things that you're going to have to um, consider when you have a fear of public speaking. Um, a lot of times someone who has a fear of public speaking may not go into a field where you have to do any of that. Um, a lot of times maybe they'll go into something where they don't have to socialize as much as someone else. Um, okay, I'm so sorry about that. I ran out of storage space. So basically a lot of people will avoid those kind of jobs if they have any kind of social anxiety or um, fear of public speaking or anything like that. So anyways, I'm going to give you some tips on how I overcame public the fear of public speaking and how you can too. So first of all, you want to identify what's really causing your fear because a lot of people have different things that um, cause the fear. I mean, is your fear being criticized? Is your fear messing up? Is your fear um, stumbling on your words is your fear not you know have getting your message across whatever your fear is try to identify what your your real fear is associated with speaking once you can identify what the true fear is related to public speaking then you can move on and and figure out a way that you can address that um, secondly I would recommend doing speeches, doing practices in front of a camera. So just record yourself speaking, have your speech um, written down, and then just go through and run through it, you know, a few times and just see how you can get better. Um, I did this when I prepared for my class and there was a lot of little things that I noticed that I could probably do better. Um, 
Like I, I do say um a lot of times in my videos, so that was definitely something that I noticed. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. So ran out of storage space again, so kind of changed the lighting a little bit because it got a little bit darker. So it's sunset right now, so it's like around uh, like eight o'clock right now. So anyways, the third one that I wanted to go over with you is to visualize yourself doing well. So try to close your eyes and paint like a visual picture of how it's going to go from start to finish. Think about what you're going to say. Think about your introduction. Think about the body of your of your speech and, and run through it mentally in your mind and do this several times and make sure that you envision it in a positive light. Don't see yourself making mistakes. Don't see yourself messing up. Don't uh, have see yourself making um, errors or being judged or anything like that. Visualize yourself doing well, being well spoken, having people congratulate you after your speech and tell you how well you did. And just run through this several times, maybe at night, just close your eyes and just run through your speech and just think about how just how positive things can be and how much this speech can affect your career, how much this could take you to the next level. Just try to visualize all the positive things that could come out of this speech. So I hope those tips help for you. Um, I would also say if none of these tips help and you're still to the point where you know, you're having anxiety attacks and you just can't physically see yourself doing this, you know you're going to have a panic attack or it's so severe where you're going to get up there and your voice, your throat's going to close up. Um, I used to get to the point where, you know, during when I was in college actually, this is when it got really severe to the point where my throat would close up and I would, I would literally just hear my speech and myself just struggling to get every single word out and just gasping for air running out of breath. And not only that, but I've had people tell me that my whole chest would get just like red and blotchy and you know it's really, really severe anxiety um, if that kind of thing is happening to you. And at that point, I would say definitely consult a professional, definitely go see your medical doctor, see if he can point you in the right direction. Um, I actually had to go on a medication for anxiety called propranol. Um, and I actually went on that when I had hyperthyroidism and the, it was for the hyperthyroidism because I would get really anxiety ridden and my um, blood pressure and my heart rate would go way up. And so it really helped with that. But um, a lot of people don't know, but that medication actually helped with a depression and anxiety and mood disorders. And it kind of like, um, you know, just helps you with mainly with your anxiety. It just um, kind of helps your heart rate to slow down a little bit like that. and. It just, um, you know, it helps you get through that rough spot if, if you really, really are to the point where, you know, there might be some medical reason to go get on medication for it. Um, if you go to medical forums and stuff like that, you will see the reviews on this. It's called Propranol, and I will, I'll, I'll leave a link below. Um, maybe I can find that review. I was looking at the reviews and. Um, it got really, really, really high reviews for quite a few medical conditions. So I really hope that helps you guys get through this. And um, leave me a comment below if this helped, if it helped you get through your speech or, or your social anxiety disorder. Um, you know, maybe you have something like angoraphobia where you have a fear of going places or things like that. This can also help with that. So um, anyways, I would love to talk to you guys. and find out more about what you guys are going through and and also just leave me some comments below about how I can help um, in any kind of way you know as far as personal development or business coaching or anything like that I would love to hear what you guys are struggling with right now um, if you guys are if you have a business or you would like to start a business or anything like that just leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys are up to so have a good day you guys bye